Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a video to show you how I pack for two weeks uh, away from home base here in Germany. Uh, about a month ago my mom and I did a whirlwind tour of Germany and we went to four countries in a little less than two weeks. And that was insane and we flew Ryanair so we really have to be careful about what you pack. So I'm going to show you guys what I packed and how I did that. So to start off, when you are flying Ryanair, you have a, to have a very specific size suitcase. Um, and so I have this one. It has to be less than 55 centimeters uh, tall, and that's not very tall. That's like 21 inches. So this one's, it's, it's small but mighty. It'll hold everything that I need, um, or everything I need, not everything I want. So I have that, and that's a suitcase that I was able to fit all of this stuff in. So we'll start with... The clothes I brought. Uh, I'm a big dress wearer because it's that's a, an awesome staple to have when you're traveling because it's like almost an entire outfit in one piece of clothing that doesn't take up too much space. So I have I brought three dresses with me. I brought this um, maroon dress here. It's a little bit longer. Um, but super, super comfortable for walking around, um, and it's it was a little colder than it was probably like anywhere from 50 to 65 degrees, so I could wear it with tights, and then you're not, um, then it's just like wearing sweatpants, basically, but you look put together. Um, I brought this more patterned dress, um, and I thought that I was going to wear this for Easter, but I ended up not wearing it at all, so that's one of those things that I probably wouldn't bring again. I also brought this kind of simple uh, gray dress. It's a little bit shorter, but um, I wore it with, with leggings or tights when I wore it, and it was comfortable and easy to wear. Uh, and then I brought about four or five uh, tank tops to layer and put things over, and because I wear a tank top under just about everything. And I brought those in different colors. I have... Um, two black ones, a white one, a gray one. I think I actually, when we actually went, I brought another white one too. And then my staple while we're traveling, I brought probably five pairs of leggings um, and like a pair of tights. And that got me through and wore those under my dresses and everything like that. I also brought just one kind of comfy, chunky sweater uh, and that was awesome for the colder days. Where There weren't too many days where it got below 60. We were in uh, Paris, London, Dublin, and Amsterdam. So you're in kind of northern Europe and it does get pretty cold, but it was in April. So that was late March, early April. So it wasn't too, too cold and I could survive with that. And then... Um, I brought two black and white striped shirts because they go with everything. And they're actually you know, decently in style right now. You can wear those. They go with everything. Um, you can pair them with leggings. You can pair them with jeans. You can pair them with anything. And they just, they'll go. And you'll look put together. And then I brought just one um, set of pajamas. So pajama bottoms and then a lovely... Hamlin t-shirt and that's kind of hard for me to only wear one set of pajamas but we did get to do laundry when we were there um, kind of midway through the trip when we were in London we stayed at an Airbnb and I highly recommend that if you are traveling and you want to stay on the cheap um, and you want to get a really good view of, kind of the local life there because you're going to be staying in an Airbnb you stay with someone who will rent out a room in their house and so they can give you really good information on what's going on, but it's also through a company, through Airbnb, so you know that you're going to be safe and that these people are verified and all that stuff. Um, but one of the perks to staying in an Airbnb is that you can do laundry there, which is awesome, especially if you're going to go on a big trip. Having somewhere that you can do laundry is absolutely crucial um, because you're not going to fit, you know, two weeks of stuff in a tiny little bag without having to wear things over again, which is totally fine when you're traveling, um, but... I just prefer not to do it. <laughs> I also brought um, a scarf. I think I brought another one too. And then I also used, uh, my mom had scarves with her as well. So we kind of swapped 
scarves and stuff like that, which is awesome. If you're traveling with a bunch of friends, especially friends who are the same size as you, that's perfect because then you can share clothes and you don't have to wear the same outfit over and over again because you can swap with your friends. So if your friends are cool with that, that's awesome. Do that. Uh, and then I brought a series of other bags. On Ryanair, you can take two bags. One has to be less than um, 55 centimeters and one has to be less than 35 centimeters. So this was my little 35 centimeter bag. It's a little backpack straps here, but it's cute so I could wear it out during the day. Um, the one thing I had to be really careful about with this backpack though is that it doesn't have a zippered top. It has a cinch top, um, so you have to be careful with that because those are a lot easier to pickpocket. So just make sure, I always just double knotted it, tied it super tight, and then I was just aware of it on my back. But I didn't carry that one around so much. I carried around this little tiny bag. Um, I got this at Primark, which is an awesome store here in Germany. Um, it's uh, super, super cheap, but I got this there for like five euros or something like that, which is just a little bit more than five dollars. Um, and I carry this around a lot because it fits everything I need. It fits my cell phone, it fits um, some hand lotion or some chapstick or my keys to the Airbnb or whatever I might need just fits in there. Um, and then I also brought a pa passport case uh, and this has protection on it so that your credit card information can't get swiped by someone who has like a magnetic card reader. And then I just have my passport in there. And I keep my credit card and my debit card and important stuff in there. And that's the nice thing about traveling in uh, the colder months is that I wear a scarf almost every day. And so I can put this under there and then put the scarf over it and it hides it. And you wouldn't even be able to tell that I was wearing it, but it's safe and it's secure. And I know that you know I can't, like nobody's going to pickpocket me with that. They won't even know that I have it. Um, for shoes, I tried to only bring two pairs of shoes and I would always wear these bigger um, combat boots on the plane or on the train because they don't pack down as easily. Um, so I brought these for to wear with my dresses and anytime we went somewhere that was a little bit nicer, obviously, you know, I'm not going to go into a five-star restaurant wearing like combat boots, but um, I... It was enough to get me through, you know, restaurants and stuff like that that were a little bit nicer and places that we went that were a little bit, you had to look a little bit more decent um, because the other shoes that I brought were just some tennis shoes, some Nike tennis shoes. Um, that's one of the cool things and one of the cool trends that I've noticed here in Germany is that people will pair tennis shoes with anything, which is great. You can wear tennis shoes with a dress. You can wear tennis shoes with leggings or jeans or whatever you want and that like everybody does it and it's not weird and I love that because then you can be just super super comfortable and it's great for when you're traveling to be able to do that and not be like oh I look like a tourist in my tennis shoes. Um, I also just brought I tried to consolidate my makeup bag as much as I could um, and I just brought kind of the essentials in a little makeup bag and then I always have kind of a little toilet tree case. This came with my luggage set um, and I brought that too and in here I just have my toothbrush and um, all of my little travel size. I have a travel size face lotion and toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner um, and then I even put my a little bit of my perfume in this bottle before I leave so I can have all of those things with me um, because you're gonna deal with that whole quart size baggie, less than three ounces or 100 milliliters thing while you're traveling um, by plane. So it was really important for me to be able to fit everything in there. One of the nice things I've noticed about Europe too is almost every single airport has those quart size um, Ziploc baggies that you can pick up and they're just free and they're there for you to use, which is awesome because I haven't been buying them a lot here and I think a lot of Europeans don't buy plastic bags the way we do in the US. Um, so I had those, um, those are available, but I usually, I have one or two that I brought with me when I came and so I use those too, but they're available if you need them. And then the last thing I have sitting back here, um, I just brought one light jacket um, that kind of went with everything and was comfortable and if it was colder, I would put a sweater on or uh, my big scarf or 
um, something like that. But it was usually enough to get me through. And there was a couple days where I didn't even need a jacket because it got up to almost 70 um, when we were in Paris. It was pretty warm. And when the last day we were in Amsterdam, it was, it was right around 72. So that was awesome. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I brought for two weeks. I know it might not seem like a lot, but it got me through and I was able to do laundry. So I think my biggest tip is bring less than you need. Um, except for um, in the socks and underwear department. I know I didn't show those, but I definitely brought them. Um, and you want to bring a lot of those um, because everything else, just bring less than you need. If you really, really need something, you can buy it. Um, it's not worth it to lug it around, um, but it is nice to have extra socks and extra underwear because then you know that you can kind of get by with anything. But that's all I got for this video, um, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!